Hello everyone, welcome to Ripping Email Monday. Today, I'm going to analyze Stephen Kotler's email. If you're wondering who Stephen Kotler is, he's a famous author and a writer with many popular books, including Stealing Fire, one of my personal favorite, uh, and Rise of Superman, and a few others. He focuses a lot on productivity, and he sells, I would say he has different offers when it comes to his upsell. So he ha he's selling a book, he's selling a program, He's selling consultation. Uh, so he kind of moves you through these different uh, offers one bit at a time. I will analyze his email. I will also go a little bit beyond that to analyze his landing page and how he's trying to convert. Now, when it comes to the email, this is actually one of, one of the series that he's sending out to me. I opted into a free, um, it was like a 15 minute presentation on how to be productive in a remote environment. So that was a perfect timing, perfect offer relevant to us because we have a big remote team um, stru structure, which I thought was, was relevant at the time. So once I opted in, I watched a solid 15 or 17 minute presentation. And after that, since then, he's been trying to sell me on a few of his books through his drips. And of course, the ultimate upsell was a program that I'll be part of and I pay premium for it, of course. Now, let's analyze the subject line, how to solve your most painful problem with flow. Now, what I like about this is that he has stuck to his original branding, expertise and messaging, and also he's right on point. So he's speaking directly to the pain point, um, which is around being in the state of flow, being focused, minimizing distraction. This is literally his core offer here. Now, the subject line I think is good. However, uh, it has some negative keywords in it, painful problems. Uh, I would say these are, uh, it's debatable that this could give a negative uh, score to the subject line, but that's a personal preference. It's always good to A-B test different subject lines to see which one performs better. We do offer that on VBout, but most email clients that are well established, they offer that as well. The second part is the content, which honestly, I am a bit disappointed because this reads like a whole disconnected thoughts uh, when it's supposed to be a flow and talking about how to solve flow. This sort of kind of gives me a disconnected train of thoughts as I read it. Um, so I would have liked to have a little more consistency between the messaging, shorter copy that's well, or better configured. And because it was designed using what I call the naked HTML, that means there's literally no images or anything like that, um, simple text, maybe having it in a relaxed environment or relaxed with, uh, with you know making it look like it's a legitimate one-to-one -one email would have helped a lot. Now, as I excel down here, um, good. He had has one call to action only. So that helps. I'm gonna click on that in a second. He has his logo and obviously the housekeeping stuff on the bottom, which you always should have unsubscribe and the address. <clears throat> now the image works to attract open rates. Um, in my opinion, this logo is way too, sm too small and meaningful. This is supposed to be his brand logo, uh, but it was too small. so. Honestly, it's probably irrelevant. Uh, and the system he's choosing here, or he's using, um, is called Active Campaign. I was able to see this by looking at this. I believe it's Active Campaign. And if I go ahead and uh, look at the original. Yes, so I think it is Active Campaign, if I'm not mistaken. Now, DKIM, SPF are properly set up. There's no DMARC. I would have liked to see DMARC. That's okay. He's sending from Stephen Kotler, giving it more weight, uh, primarily because, you know, he's the brand, face of the brand. And I trust emails from him versus any of his associates. Although I know that he has a team and his associ associates are probably sending these emails. I could be wrong, but at scale, I would assume an assistant is doing that. <clears throat> so the setup is good. Active campaign is there. 
uh, SPF and DKIM are set up, there's no DMARC. Let's look at the click together. Now apply for zero to dangerous here now, okay? I'm immediately redirected to a landing page, which as you can see, there's no distraction. Quick call to action right there and a headline. So the header is good. Everything else below that, I would say that video is positioned well, social proof, and the rest is just complete waste of space in my opinion. Okay, The video itself should be enough for me to watch and see what's going on. Uh, maybe some more reviews, but I really feel like it's oversold from the copy all the way to this page when it comes to the program he's trying to upsell to. Um, if this was, if I'm the right fit, this should have been more than enough all the way down to this section here. Apply zero to dangerous now. So that's the main call to action. Now, here's the cool thing is that they're using type form to collect submissions. So what they're doing, they're evaluating people uh, uh, to the program. Maybe it's just a pre-screening thing to give some sort of exclusivity feel to it. Um, but as I scroll down through here uh, and I submit, it simply takes my application over to them and somebody will be in touch. Now, that's exactly like the entire flow. They don't build any sophisticated systems or anything like that. And they might have some gated content eventually. But what happened is my initial opt-in was to watch a presentation, which is 15 minutes on being productive in a remote environment and minimizing distraction. And then from there on, I have been almost getting one to two emails weekly from Stephen selling me on books or selling me on the program, which is a little bit more expensive. I think uh, way more expensive in the thousands. The landing page just has a lot of content. And then from there, there's a form that I need to fill out. Okay. And from there, obviously, someone might be reaching out to me. There might be some follow-up emails. I didn't get that far. I just wanted to start by analyzing the copy, which I I feel it was way too long. And the landing page, was which was way too stuffed with content. Uh, and then after that, a simple form. I'll end with this note. This format is very popular amongst authors, speakers who really like to, you know, portray message and they have a lot to discuss, a lot of value to share. But in my opinion, sometimes just over writing and over describing could be a turnoff for buyers. So keeping it short, sweet, straight to the point might be a better way to get your email marketing to convert better. This was our session for today. Uh, I hope you found this helpful.